Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and salam to all the Banus uh, who are going to be with me for a few minutes. I am going to talk about importance of education and how important it is. Mera Urdu, ma Urdu, Tora Tora Bole. But I will try to speak in English so it will be understood by everyone. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Pyare dosto, Assalamu Alaikum. It's a great pleasure for me to introduce my ex classmate, Dr. Amina Saifullah Khan, who is a great scholar, educationist, and social transformer, transformer of girls' education. Dr. Amina ne. Masters in Teacher Education Aga Khan University se kiya distinction ke saath aur aap ne USA se BSN bhi kiya tha aur wahi se unho ne PhD bhi ki hai Dr. Amina Rehti USA mein hai lekin uska dil uski dharkane third world ke saath underprivileged countries ke khas toh pa female education ke liye unka dil dharakta hai jis ke liye wo USA mein rehte huye बहुत से प्रोजेक्ट्स पे काम कर रही है जिसमें ताजिकिस्तान शामिल है पाकिस्तान शामिल है इस तरह बहुत से कंट्रीज में रिसर्च के ऊपर एजुकेशन के ऊपर बहुत से खिदमत सर अंजाम दे रही है तो डॉक्टर आमिना आपके यूट्यूब चैनल इनसाइट आउट जर्नी की मेहमान है मैं उनकी उनका टाइम उनकी मोहब्बत और उनकी विजडम को सलाम पेश करता हूँ थैंकफुल हूँ और उनकी लास्ट डिग्री भी आपको बता दूं एक बहुत ही अहम टॉपिक पर उन्होंने पीएचडी मुकम्मल की है जो कि नार्थरन ईस्टर्न यूनिवर्सिटी से एलएल मॉडल्स एंड एआई में बोस्टन यूनिवर्सिटी से पीएचडी की है एंड उनका जाहिर और बातिन दोनों बहुत खूबसूरत है यकीनन उनके इनसाइट से उनके टिप्स से उनकी स्पीच से खास तौर पर हमारी जो यूथ है जो गर्ल्स हैं वो इस्तेफा करेंगे ان شاء اللہ ان کے دوسری تیسری ویڈیوز بھی ان کے پیچھے پیچھے اپلوڈ ہوں گی لیکن مجھے امید ہے آپ اس ویڈیو کو گور سے سنیں دیکھیں اور فیڈ بیک بھی دے دیں اور پسند آئے تو آپ اپنے دوستوں کے ساتھ شیئر کریں آخر میں ایک اور اہم بات آپ کو بتانا ضروری ہے ڈاکٹر آمینہ کا اپنا یوٹیوب چینل ہے جس میں بہت خوبصورت پیغامات انسائٹ شیئر کیا ہے آپ سب سے گزارش ہے کہ ہم نے ان کا جو چینل کا لنک ہمارے ڈسکرپشن میں پیسٹ کیا ہوا ہے اس کو بھی دیکھیں اور ان کو بھی فیڈ بیک فیڈ بیک دے دیں یقیناً وہ ایک رینونڈ سکولر ہے ریسرچر ہے اس سے آپ کو یقینی طور پر فائدہ ہوگا ونس اگین تھینکیو ایری مچ ڈاکٹر آمینہ فار یور ویسڈم فار یور ٹائم اینڈ یور کیر تھینکیو ایری مچ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Assalamu alaikum and salam to all the Banus uh, who are going to be with me for a few minutes. I am going to talk about importance of education and how important it is. Mera Urdu, ma Urdu, Tora Tora Bole. But I will try to speak in English so it will be understood by everyone. میرا نام ڈاکٹر امینا سیف اللہ خان دولت شاہ اینڈ آئی ہیڈ اے پریولیج ایئرس ایئرس اگو ٹو بی ان کراچی ٹو بی ان پاکستان کراچی اسلام آباد پشاور بلتستان نارتھن ایریا اینڈ مائی لو گوز ٹو آل پیپل اینڈ آئی نو ہاؤ بیوٹیفل اینڈ ہاسپٹیبل دا پیپل آف پاکستان Uh, therefore, I thought I will have some special video made for it and for the girls that I seen, although it was a long time ago. Mera Tora Tora Urdu Bole, Tora Tora. But I will try to speak in English so the video can be more beneficial for all the young girls who are out there listening to me. Um, One of the important things that I got impression uh, to have this message for is a girl's education. Uh, 
as Banu myself, and I come from much more mountainous area. So I know the value, uh, the importance of education. And I know how difficult also to obtain your education, especially for the girls who are living in the mountains, especially for the girls who are coming from more rural area, small towns. And I know how it feels, um, how it is difficult to get to your education, but it's still doable. So I'm going to talk about three important factors that you need to pay attention when you do your education or when you study and look forward. So in English world, we say, I'm going to give you a little bit of a roadmap where you can go forward with your education. First of all, education is important for any young girls out there coming from a small community. And I am the witness to that. Second of all, as I finish my majoring in biology, I always talk about science. Understanding science is very important. We call it biology is the mother of all subjects. I still see very important how to push forward your science education. If you are out there, if you're a young girl and if you are from the small town and if you're thinking, what do I need to do to improve? Which subject do I need to pick it up for the next future? What should I need to study? I think science is still very fashion in education. Science is still trendy to look forward, to study and to pay attention. For example, biology is very important right now. Mathematics is very important right now. Physics is very important right now. Geometry is very important right now. A lot of architectural projects is going to move forward. But all of it, there's a one secret. Always think if you are grade seven, if you are grade eight, if you are grade nine, if you are grade 10, 11, 12, what is it that I will pick a subject and it will be beneficial for the future? That will help you tremendously and that will be your GPS question. GPS is a map for the future. So always ask yourself, what is the subject that will be very important for the future? Understanding biology is very important for the future. We still want to learn how the mother nature, how it works. We still want to learn how to help mankind, how to solve all these difficult medical issues that we're facing right now. We still need a lot of research and we still need a lot of smart, smart young people who can contribute to the global of goodness. Fikulan, to all of the global goodness, to your village, to your family, to your village, to your community, to your country, to your region neighbors, to globally. If you want to go to education, think always about global contribution but it starts from home. I also know how important to, for a community, for girls who are living in a home most of the time, but I did the same, but I paid attention to a lot of language learning. So I started learning different languages, even at home, even washing the dishes, even just my aunties or any relatives would get together, I will still find the time, start learning language. It is very important for young ones out there to have different languages, even if it's small one, even if it's a basic one, even if you think that you will never travel, but you never know. So it's very important to know different languages, to understand other people's culture and to understand the way of thinking. Pick up any languages that it will be fun to learn, even at home, even no electricity, 
you start learning the languages. For example, I started learning languages, although I knew three, four other languages apart from English language. It's a very important to understand also computer. Computer knowledge is right now, everyone talks about computers right now. Computers is not only mean of communication, but through computers, you will start applying for jobs. Through computers, you will start understanding bigger worlds and what is happening. A lot, a lot of other activities are going to have through digital presentation, meaning like when you apply for a job, you have to know computer. Meaning if you apply for university, you have to know computer, how to use and how to fill the applications. Meaning if you start learning computer, you will also know the difference between not good and the good information. But overall, it is very important for you to know basic computers, meaning that you can type your own name, that you can type the applications, that you can open computers, open file, type it, use Microsoft Word, use another forms and programs that are basic in computer knowledge. It is very important right now. I know you know, some of you may know, some of you may know very well computers, but you need to also remind yourself that knowing computer is very, very important right now. We also call it a computer literacy. You need to know not only computers, but you can help your parents, you can help your community, you can help your hospitals, you can help your schools, and you can help global goods. The other important is artificial intelligence. A lot of people talk about artificial intelligence. This is a new subject. So in a new subject, we only know a basic about artificial intelligence. But I want you to from now on, since you are young, since you are grade 7, grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, I want you to pay attention. What is it? What is artificial intelligence? How can I learn it? How can I know about it? Is it good for the humanity or it's additional? What is it that I need to know about artificial intelligence? Can this help our communities for a medical, for education, for schools, for hospitals, for civil society? Start thinking about it because if you're grade seven and listening to me, if you're grade eight and listening to me, it's time for you to put into categories. That's why in a grade seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, we teach, learn about how to put categories and learn about how to know the difference between water, solid, liquid, gas. It's very important for you to be and immerse yourself into educational activities. Now that the summer is kicking in, I want you to think about how to learn extra books. You can learn poetry. You can learn, which I love Urdu poetry and I love listening to Urdu language poetry and it's just the world in itself. So you can also learn other language poetries and that will be fun for your summer. On the same time, I know you're helping your mom, you're helping your dad with, her, with gardening. And I know you are helping with all the house chores that are in a house in small towns, especially in the mountain areas. We do a lot of house chores. But at the same time, I want you to have time not to sit around friends and do nothing. But I want you to focus and study books. Studying of books will help you when you go to the bigger world. People will say Shabash. People will say such a good manners such a well-behaved insan, such a good insan that she not only knows biology, she not only knows how to do her subject very well, she not only knows how math, but she also knows adab, how to sit properly, how to talk properly, how to talk to other people respectfully, 
and that is interdisciplinary subject. You should know history a little bit, you should know geography, geometry, you should know science, and you should put your interest, your curiosity around any other subject matters. So that will help you in the longer run to have critical thinking skills, how to solve your problems, how to solve problems in your life. Also, it will help you to make friends. In this world, which people have very strong opinions and polarized, people get angry, people get very, very sensitive about a lot of topics, you have to learn how to keep empathy, how to understand people, how to understand from which perspective they are coming. So for all of this, you need sabr. And my famous word for it, sabru jamil. So that's why it's very important to know interdisciplinary subjects, many subjects around. So you would make a lot of friends from different cultures. So you will also understand why people are getting emotional because you will know the history. You know how important it is for them. As it is important for me, girls' education, education that comes even even books come to mountains and in the mountains we read i call myself a mountain girl on the same time i know importance of education i know how it can change people's life i know how it can change girls life trajectory i know how important it is that she becomes a doctor she becomes a lawyer she becomes engineer she becomes architecture she becomes even a helper for her mom for her dad for her community for her village so empathy is very important mehruban in persian language we call it you need to be empathetic to people but in persian language we call it mehruban boshat so it's a very important that you have a heart, not only mind, but you also have a heart to understand this world challenges, to make this world much better with your education ahead. Assalamu alaikum and good luck with your education.